Hello everyone, Brickasaurus227, and today I'm going to be gushing on Dart Zone, one of my favorite things to do. And as you can see, we are reviewing the Dart Zone Max Dictator, a target exclusive blaster that Dart Zone has made that looks really cool. And it's basically a reshell of the Conquest, but in my opinion, this looks much better than the Conquest. So let's get this open. Alrighty, included is a whole lot of stuff. Instructions, a couple of mags, some sight, of course the blaster, you have some darts, and what appears to be some o rubber O-rings for replacements or whatever, and of course you have the glasses, the nu barrel nozzle, and the mag connector. So a lot of stuff, for especially for $50. Now strangely I want to try out the safety glasses first because I've been hearing a lot of good things about these, one these the new dart zone safety glasses. They also have little max branding on there so that's pretty cool oh wow these fit really nice and they don't fog up these are amazing wow these safety glasses are crystal clear like hear this through the camera look at that that's that's amazing wow these safety glasses are top tier better than a lot of the stuff you can get from nerf separately which is nice and there you go you connect your two mags Oh, that's pretty cool, guys. I'm assuming the mag goes up like the arrow. And I'm not going to make one joke about this. So you can leave if that's what you're here for. All right, mag installed. First off to note, this is very lightweight, but still really good quality. Let's, t let's look at the grip. Oh, that's a really good grip. That trigger pull is amazing. I don't like how it does that. But let's see, there's a mag release, which how well does it work? Oh, that's a flawless mag release right there. Hit the mag release, shake it a little bit, and it pops right out. Perfect for reloads and flipping. And it's really cool. The safety is on. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. The sights are pretty snazzy, too. You have a rail up here. I'm pretty sure it's Picatinny. You can't put Nerf attach. You cannot put Nerf attachments. The pump grip feels pretty nice. It is a Oh my gosh, that is the smoothest Pro Blaster pump grip yet. That takes barely any force. That's like twin shock smooth. Oh, that's nice. The barrel nozzle's pretty cool here too. Oh look, there's like a little crumb there. The air is just blowing it around, that's insane. Oh, I really like this blaster. Let's see how it feels shouldering it. Yep. Yeah. And from my knowledge, it has slam fire. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, I love this blaster. So there's these little flaps on the side. I don't know what they do. They seem to be permanently attached to the blaster. That's kind of cool. There is an access door in case there may be an occasional jam. That's pretty cool. And you can even see how the blaster works that way, the way it feeds the mag. It has a really unique system like the Conquest Pro takes the dart and flips it basically into the chamber. Really space efficient and new way to do things. Really cool. It seems to have some pop, but also that prime is so smooth. I hope it's not a bad prime. It's not a bad performance. From what I've heard though, this blaster performs pretty well. I do not have a chronograph, but we will be doing a range test. And the looks of this blaster are amazing. This is just, mm, mwah, chef's kiss. Guys, this might be my new favorite blaster of all time. Ah, that's, that's hard to say, but I'm going to load it and we'll see. And also, you don't have to have the mags connected for it to work. It can work without the mags connected. So very space efficient way to have a stock. To operate the blaster, you load the rounds in the, mag in the magazine. Each magazine can hold 12 rounds, so that's pretty good. You have 24 rounds. I'm just going to put three in here for now. You load the magazine, make sure the darts are facing up. To make sure it goes in place, just kind of click it in there. If you wanted to just do one magazine. Make sure your safety is on. Prime the blaster and... A pretty sure it's shot. Oh my gosh. Guys, I have to do it. 
Gosh! Oh my... That was a mistake. Oh, wow. Coyote Peterson here. Uh, I just got stung by the Max Dictator. Look at that. You can kind of see a well already forming. That is... That is powerful. Well, I gotta make sure this is really good. So, there, And there's only one way to do that. And that is go to the range. Alrighty, guys. We're out here with the Max Dictator. Honestly, so far, this is probably one of my favorite Nerf Blasters ever. It just works so well and is so nice and crisp. But... The thing is, it shoots really far, so I almost don't know if a range test is necessary, but we'll go ahead and do that. The sun decides to come out just when I do this. Well, that's actually pretty good. It's far surpassed the tape measure. Obviously, now I stepped a few paces back, but overall, uh, we can. It would have cleared the tape measure anyway. Pretty cool. Uh, insane ranges. Almost all of them, except for one, cleared the tape measure, which is insane. Which means, like, it's it's crazy. This blaster is really good, and I really like the butt loading system. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It works really well and smooth. I like it better than a lot of the other systems. It's just, to me, more efficient. And that flip mag system is pretty cool too. I have gotten pretty fast with the reload, so that's pretty neat. No real note so far, except it's just such a good blaster. And a slam fire and all of that, so that's pretty cool. Let's get some exact numbers. So the Max Dictator did, oh my gosh, the wind. Can you stop it? Everything is going wrong with this video. Gosh. Uh, so we have a dart here. This was a fluke. That that that's the, a fluke at 50 feet. That's what a fluke is. Or not 50. Real? Is it? I don't know. No, four, 40, 44 feet. I'd say. Yeah, 44 feet. Uh, sorry, that was meters. Whatever. But the fluke was at 44 feet. So that's that's pretty good. Another one at 56 feet. There's one here at the end, and then it just kind of goes I would say the range is close to about 100 120 feet would be my guess which is insane all of these darts I mean that's really good ranges What's, where's the farthest one this one right here does it go farther than that nope oh wait it does good grief look how far this thing goes it is insanely far and accurate now the glare I couldn't really aim it accurately but it's insane the range is just crazy on this thing so Honestly, that's really good. I mean, that's insanely good. And I, I mean, it's kind of a joke to do a dart zone range test the way I have everything set up for range tests. So as far as like pro blasters, yeah, I can't really, I don't have a good setup for that. But honestly, just some of the most insane performance I've seen in a while, even from dart zone, it's pretty good. So what are my thoughts on the Max Dictator? Well, I actually think it is amazing, absolutely amazing, and there's quite a few reasons. First off, this is definitely by far the best Max Blaster from the tar from like Target. In my opinion, this is the best with the Flip Mag system, the Easy Prime, the shotgun style, the Slam Fire, the straight up looks of the blaster. A lot of it's just really good. This is definitely better than the Conquest as well, in my opinion, because of that stock, and it's just far more comfortable. Everything about this blaster is legit, honestly perfect. Nothing, no complaints on my end. And honestly, 10 out of 10, I think it is an amazing blaster. The performance is there, ergonomics. And this is by far the easiest pro style blaster to prime. It is amazing. Just everything about this blaster, in my opinion, is amazing. And for 50 bucks, it's worth it. And I got this on sale for 25 bucks, and I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, sorry about this late review, it's just getting kind of busy for me, and, you know, taking a break and all for a month, and, yeah, I got this back on Black Friday when it was, like, really cheap, so I've had it for a while, and I know it is really, really good. And they are still on Target shelves, so pick them up while you, pick one up while you can, it'll probably go on clearance again at some point, and I really think this is just an amazing blaster, so yeah, 10 out of 10, no question about it. Thanks for watching. This is Brigasaurus 227. Sorry about the delay in uploads, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. My junk drawer.
my junk drawer So many things I don't know what they're for But I won't let it go, no, I will add more Useless little things to my junk drawer